inflation front today. The January producer price index shot up one full percentage point from December. Analysts have been expecting a jump of just four tenths of a percent, but you know, the Fed says no inflation. Yeah, right. Well, they say inflation not as important as other things, but the annual rate of wholesale inflation has now reached its highest level, people, since 1981. Will any of this force the Fed to change its course and stop cutting interest rates? And what would a rate hike do to an already fragile economy? Our Fox panel is back now to talk about it. Peter Schiff, this is your baby. Uh, if, if the Fed does not continue to cut rates, the market is going to react terribly. But you say it's vital that it hold up the rates. In fact, you think that rates sure, should be increased. They, they, they should be raising rates. You know, the reason the Fed is being dishonest about inflation is because they're the ones that are creating it. The rising prices that we're seeing, like oil at $101 a barrel, that is the direct result of the inflation that the Fed has been creating and is continuing to inflate. They need to stop doing this. They need to raise rates substantially. The fact that we're going to be in a recession because we're so over leveraged is just the price we're going to have to pay for being in this position in the first place. But the Fed can't continue to create inflation and you know these numbers of even though we're seeing these big moves up in the PPI and the CPI they still underestimate the problem it's even more severe than these numbers let on Eric Bowling you know that your your bailiwick the NYMEX is responsible for a lot of the inflation as we see high energy prices producer price index way outperforming what the expectations were today what do you make of this do you think the Fed needs to start straddling the line here with inflation and start doing something to bring it down yeah you know what they should do they should continue to cut rates because the more pressing problem is a slowing economy as the economy slows that rate of growth contracts and that by the way Peter that will bring your prices of no, oil and gold down sure it will wow. contraction you can actually risk deflation by the way housing Eric. is in a recession it's not inflating it's deflating so that's drawing about one percent GD off of GDP. So my point is, right now, the more pressing issue, and Bernanke has said this, and Paulson has said this, the more pressing issue is making sure that this economy continues to grow, albeit slow, continues to grow. We'll deal with inflation later. We will. We'll raise rates. The, the, the recession recession is not going to stop inflation. It's going to make it worse. Sure. I, 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 maybe, I totally let, disagree no, with let you, Peter. Let, I completely disagree yeah, yeah, but with you. You're, you're, but you're 100% wrong. What's going to happen is... You sure. get down on the NYMEX no, and try sure. to trade the way he sure. does with oil. Go ahead. Sure. sure. There's going to be diminished demand in the United States for, for goods. But demand is going to explode all over the world because we're diminishing the value of the dollar. And as the dollar loses value, the products and, and, get and cheaper for the rest here, of the world. And, and that's why we won't okay, recess. Get in here. Go ahead, Gary Kalpom. Look, here's the bigger problem. You know, the Fed last week said inflation was anchored. In the last month, you have most commodities up 15%. This reminds me of the last year where they said subprime was contained and yeah, don't worry. Uh -huh. Let me tell you what happens here. Number one, I said they were going to keep lowering rates. I expect them to go down to 2%. But what happens when the long yield of the bond market starts spiking to the upside, which we started to see? No, it doesn't matter what they do with short rates, because if the 10-year keeps going up, mortgage rates keep going up, cost of capital goes up, and anything they do is not going to help the economy anyhow. So they put themselves in a box. I don't know how they're going to get themselves out of it. Charles. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to tilt this back over toward the other side because I'm inclined <laughs> to agree with uh, my buddy down there trading the oil. I mean, listen, I understand inflation fears. In fact, I believe by the end of next year, Fed fund rates will be back over four. Uh, but for right now, I think the Fed has made it clear that they have two choices. They can deal with inflation or they can deal with the overall economy. They want to deal with the economy. You know, listen, what, they, what they do is put it simply. They say, look, if a guy is dying because of loss of blood and he happens to have a pimple, you don't worry about his pimple. Right. And although, this is, more than, although this is more than a pimple, but listen, today Vice Chairman of the Fed, uh, Donald Cohn, spoke. He made a pretty point, and he said, listen, this is elevated inflation. He doesn't think it will su uh, sustain itself in the second half of the year. He also mentioned that they will use every tool in their toolbox. I thought his comments, but, in addition to the IBM news, Help send yeah. this market higher. Yeah. Listen, the market is speaking. It saw the PPI yeah. numbers this morning, and I think investors are sort of willing these to give the Fed the yeah. benefit look, of the doubt. Look at silver today, up over Peter, 60 these, cents an ounce. That's a oh, very you know, inflation-sensitive metal. Demand, uh, demand is also driving up oil. No, the inflation I think demand is, is driving no, up oil more than the but price inflation of inflation is feeding the demand. We're printing money, and people oh. are spending now, it. Now, hold on a second. Here's silver. But, Peter, tell us, hold on a second, Gary. Tell us why this is so significant, this jump in silver price. Well, first of all, it's a breakout if you look at the chart, but silver is very inflation 
inflation sensitive. It responds, I think, more to inflation fears even than gold. And look what's going on. And, you know, when Liz mentioned earlier that, oh, that oil is causing the inflation. It's not. It's the result of inflation. Prices going up don't cause inflation. Victoria, Money supply growing up. Victoria, does. take it from here. What is your thought? Well, P Peter, raising uh, raising interest rates right now would just wreak havoc on the economy. There's no doubt that we have inflation. There's no doubt that we have low growth right now. We're in a bad spot. But but raising rates would certainly make that worse. No, it, it would won't. just cripple it's, the credit markets. <laughs> it's going to get worse I mean, if we keep doing what we're doing. Why uh, hyperinflation is worse? It's like you, know, you broke your leg, so now you're going to shoot yourself and <laughs> no, no. make it go away. That no, makes but no this sense. is not a cure. Eric, Debasing the money is not a cure. Go ahead, Eric. I, I think the worst of all scenarios is the Fed raises, growth slows to possibly recession or, or worse, and then inflation automatically comes down. Now you have a situation no, where, not. okay, inflation is fine, but we're now in a, okay. in a serious recession, if not a depression. Hey, gang, That's before we go to...